Okay, so on the left over here, we have a JB Platinum 7 CFM pump. And on the right, we have the field piece VP67, the newest field piece uh, vacuum pump. It's a dual stage pump as well. Um, I mean, there's plenty of videos out there going through and detailing the different features that this thing has. Um, as you can see, this is cool. The cord's removable. And you can see with that one, I got a Velcro strap that I used to keep it against the handle for storage reasons. Um, this has the DV200 November Delta Victor-200 November 7 CFM. So everybody in my company runs this pump i've ran this pump for roughly five years now um before that oh gosh what kind of pump did i have i forget it's been too long ago but i've literally went through like two of these every year and um i'm just i got tired of this pump failing on me so I went with the field piece BP67 6 CFM dual stage and it's aluminum so like um, this is what we're gonna do right now <clears throat> it is Saturday so it's the end of the week and my van's a little bit of a mess right now but so this, I'll make another video about this scale, but this field piece scale, man, it is so nice. I'm telling you, you guys need to get one. So both of these do have oil in them. They're ready to go. They're not dry pumps. Um, let's see. I kind of get it on there square. Okay, it's on there square. And then... Ah, oh, dang it. Pump with cord comes in at 31 pounds 6 ounces. And now it's zero. Okay. The JV. Twenty eight pounds eight ounces. So there's roughly three pound difference between the two. Um, the JB, what is nice about the JB though, is it has the ball valve built into the tree and you have your quarter, three eighths and half. Um, they are rebuildable, you can get into them rebuild them and stuff like that um, the price tag for this is roughly about seven hundred dollars um, the price tag for the field piece I paid 435 for that um, the only thing I don't like is that I don't have any shutoff valves right here on my tree or I guess this is a manifold instead of a tree and that's the biggest complaint I have about this pump is no shutoff valves. I can't shut them down. Um, so I did. I was doing a bunch of research and found out why I've been killing these pumps. So this should help, as well as the size of hose that I'm using to pull a vacuum. 
and I should now be this thing should last like the rest of my life but I prefer this pump this pump is way nicer I like how I can do a, a running oil change with it versus this I have to shut it down do my oil change the ballast on this doesn't open up right you know so if you unscrew it while it's running and stuff it can spit oil out of it and it just makes a mess it's just not a very fun pump that little tube the cool thing is though if you forget to plug take that plug out it will pop out with the pressure under when you're pulling a vacuum and it moves the air out it exhausts it through the handle so it'll pop the plug out and exhaust it out with this one the exhaust port is right here and I went ahead and got a three quarter inch hose cap to plug that off kind of seal it so you can hook a garden hose up to this and exhaust or vent your exhaust outside if you need to if you're working in like a, a HEPA environment you know like somewhere like a sterilization room in a hospital or whatever and or in a food service area where you're worried about your vapors contaminating food or equipment or whatever that is so nice you can't really do that with this I mean there is a threaded thing right here where you can take that black cap off and there's threads there but I don't know what size those threads are I don't know what you'd screw onto that um, the sucky thing about this like I said you can't shut the valves off and I'm not sure about um, being able to rebuild it so I uh, if I had to choose between the two I'd go with the field piece I've just burnt too many of these up and I've just had too many problems with them um, I've got over 17 techs in my company that are constantly using these things we do leave them outside all the time just running non-stop pulling vacuums on big giant systems from like 250 pound to 20 ton systems and stuff like that so um, they are nice but when they fail they fail significantly and you're just left with buying a brand new pump anyways um, yeah so my choice is field piece I'll, I'll make another video about some other t field piece tools and stuff I have on, and my Appion recovery machine that's pretty cool I'll make a video on my true blue hoses and stuff um, just and I'm not sponsored by anybody all these tools are purchased they are not given to me there's no donations here whatsoever so it's totally my opinion and nobody's swaying me about any of my opinions even if somebody does send me something for free and if I don't like it, I'll tell you it's a piece of garbage.